Hey, I hope y'all are doing well. I figured it's about time I built my new forge, so here it goes. Plan is to uh, turn this into another forge. A better one, okay, well. So what I want to do is I want to design it to where it's about that tall, and where it might have a place to put holders that'll slide out and maybe bend up and hold your material in the forge, you know. So lay it out on this table. I usually like to sketch up what I'm planning on building just to give me an idea of what I'm shooting for even though most times it the plan will change before it's over with and you'll see that happen here a little bit but just sketching it out helps out a lot. I'm going to cut this longer one to match up and we'll just use them like that. I think that'll work good. Tack these two ends together just so I can cut them the same. Got the forge cradle welded up. The ends are 10 gauge. The frame is one by inch angle. It's a little bit different than my original sketch because I found a piece of the 10 gauge that was already pre-cut at like six inches or something so uh, and it made a better it made a better base anyway I was able to get it wider right here. I wanted y'all to see how I got that in there. It was really loose and that was the only way I could get him in there because of the way of the angle of the, the cradle but but I got him in there and I had to make the holes wider. It should be a solid connection anyway. So I'm going to tighten them up. Here's a good shot of the underside of it. So that's how I'm going to connect it. Alright, I got it screwed on there. See how, see how it's got a gap between it and the cradle? It's about 20 degrees out here and I'm getting sick. So if I sound funny, that's what's going on. I think I want to try to put one layer of kale in it before I put that brick in the bottom. This ceramic wool is some pretty nasty stuff. A respirator is a must, and gloves, and long sleeves, and anything else that'll keep this fiber off of you because it's 10 times worse than regular fiberglass insulation, in my opinion. Okay, so I got my uh, burner holder welded on there. I'm about to, I got my stuff on there and I'm about to uh, put my rigidizer this on is there. This what it looks like in the bottle. Before I weld anything on to give me some space, I use a piece of this aluminum flashing as like a spacer, just so I have a little bit of enough of a gap to slide stuff in and out, but it's not too loose. I'm gonna let that. My first two attempts at a pass-through brick both cracked because on the first one I was trying to use a uh, cutoff tool and it, and then chip it out with the cold chisel, it just didn't work. And the second one, my drill bit was too big. I finally got it right using a smaller drill bit. on I'm probably gonna seal it up somehow all right here's the uh, first firing I'm gonna try to make it a little bit after having it fired up for a little bit you can see that rigidizer did it's solid 
And so did that in that furnace, and man, they got it hardened up too. So, not real pretty, but uh, it worked anyway. That's what the uh, door removed. These holes right here, there you go. There's a pipe that goes all the way from one end to the other, the open holes. On both, both of them, there's two pipes. And what that's for is I made this uh, little impromptu tool holder here with some half inch round and a piece of angle. This actually goes in better on the other side. I needed to have this as the front so my uh, gas line can hang off to the side where I'm not working. So I kind of had to change plans there. I can always extend it this way if I need to with some other flat or something. This is some kiln wash that I got to line the inside of my ceramic wool with. This is going to really help it to last longer. After a while, that ceramic wool will dust off and deteriorate. This is supposed to help keep that from happening and also seal up your shelf to uh, help keep it from deteriorating from any kind of forge welding flux or anything. This is my second coat of uh, kiln wash. All right. This is the next day and my uh, kiln wash there is dried. It's cracked a little bit in some spots, but I don't know how much of a difference that's gonna make. It feels dry, but I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up and see how it does. This will be the, the first firing with the kiln wash in there. I don't know if it's gonna stay in there or not. It's kinda shooting some pieces of it out. This ought to be interesting. I might not have let it harden enough before I heated it. It was over 24 hours. See, it's kind of flaking off on the inside there. <laughs> Ain't that something? After that initial deal where it popped off, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but I think it held pretty good. I might have to put another coat on it. Alright, I just turned it off after forging for a little bit. You can see a little crazing in there still. But I didn't notice any of the dusting off of the uh, ceramic wool like I did the other day. After that uh, initial flakes of the uh, kiln wash came off, that was it. The other day I was seeing a fair amount of uh, wool dust coming out. So I'm kind of, I'm happy with that. This is a video I posted on Instagram showing the internal temperature using my new uh, thermometer and thermocoupler. I got links to my Instagram on my about page. Anybody's interested? Overall I'm going to say it was a successful build. I. Uh, it works a lot better than the first one I made. There's a video that I have that goes over that a little bit too. This thing, I had a thermometer in it and it, go, it gets over 2,000 degrees. I did end up having to put another thin coat of that kiln wash on. I think the thinner you work that, the better from what I found in this experience here. So it's been fun. Uh, I got a good working gas forge for small stuff. I got a plan, already got a plan to make a bigger one in the works, so I'm probably going to use this for like a heat treating forge or something like that, maybe in the future, but right now it's it's pretty much what I got to forge with. So, hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and leave a comment and uh, look down in the description because I'll have some other details and links and stuff down there, things that I maybe didn't mention in the video, but uh, y'all take it easy. Thanks.